race number five, due off at 14.35, a test of stamina. It's over 2,400 meters, and it will be a real test of stamina with the rain we've had. The sting will definitely be up the ground, and the softer conditions will make it that little bit more testing. And a horse who's a true stayer is probably going to come out and win race number five. Before we get to that, let's have a look at number one, Super Silver, who won over the 2,300 meter trip last time out. So that's a horse who certainly won't have any problems with the distance and the conditions. Then we're going to have a look at number eight, The Appeal, and interviews with Rachel Vinecker and Gareth Wright as well. Roy's Iceberg coming to the 300 meter now and it's Young Nelson the leader. Tommy the Kid now Super Silver's getting a stride together. On the outside is Head Gardener but Super Silver now takes it up inside the 200 and it's Super Silver running strongly. Super Silver will win it. Second position will go to Young Nelson, third to Grey Lingari and then came Tommy the Kid. Just over 300 metres to go. Victory Twist still leads it. Keys is on the inside. Outside Captain Z down the inside path to Fortune. Calgary's making a run on the outside. But still Victory Twist over the last 100. The appeal's the danger. Victory Twist the leader. Down the inside the appeal. It's getting close. Victory Twist just the leader. Victory Twist has won it. The appeal second. Path to Fortune third. Calgary ran fourth. Twice Golden has been doing well at home. Uh, his last start was okay, he was just hanging quite badly. The 2-4 on the grass should be right up his alley. Yes, uh, Chewbacca is doing well. We seem to, to find a trick with him over the, the distance and he's a horse that's going to get given a chance and he will be finishing well and also we're expecting a very good run. There you've heard it from Gareth Wright and also Rachel Vinecker and the both horses that need to be respected. You'll see later on when we have the horses to follow column. I'm leaning towards the 16 to 1 shot which Rachel Vinecker will be riding. Number 12, Twice Golden. And we'll get to that in a moment. That will be my first selection at 16 to 1, a nice each way bet. Let's kick off. We saw the replay of number one, Super Silver, who won a 2300 meter event in workmanlike style, just sped away from the opposition from the back end of the field. The concern is now jumping out of the maidens, but when you look at the field, this is the type of field where you're going to see Super Silver hopefully run another creditable race. And from the best of the draw, 2400 meters, sting out the ground, there is a lot to like about Super Silver, a horse that you have to throw into the calculations. Number three, Tashman will be testing these waters distance-wise for the first time. Has had three runs in the wet for a third and a fourth. And a horse who also seems to never run a bad race. So we will throw in number three, Tashman. I believe that's a big danger. Number four, Atomic Blonde. This is from the Paul Peters stable. The Gauteng form, not too bad. Another horse who stays exceptionally well. Looking at the record, two wins from the 25 runs to date. So number four, Atomic Blonde is certainly worth throwing in. Number eight, The Appeals, coming off a good second behind Victory Twist. And now let's get down to the business. I like number 12, tw Twice Golden. At around 16 to 1, I think a place route, that could be the way to go, and a little each way wager. Twice Golden has dropped right down in the ratings. If you look at Twice Golden, has achieved a rating of a 93 at the heart, down to a 73. Rachel Vinica takes the extra weight off the back, loves to race over this type of distance. Two of the three wins have been over 2,400 meters. So with the conditions, wet, seven runs for two wins and a fourth placing. The only concern is it just needs to settle and get lucky from the outside draw. Twice golden, a three-time winner. If you look at the horses he's taken on, the Spring Flings, Anza Lazio's, the Black Bulls, and then a cracking race when the average rating was an 84 last time behind Decorated. For me, number 12, 12 twice golden. If the luck and the everything goes according to plan, 16 to 1 looks to be very attractive odds. And come race time, won't be at those odds, I can assure you.